What's mission prep? Tell me what, what that's all about. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> it's over. This out. We're done. So, yeah, Mel Pappy used to say, "People to sleep naked aren't prepared for emergencies." I, I think I said that once. You did, like last time we were on a podcast <laughs> last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, it's true because, I mean, maybe it's not true. You could probably take care of shit if you were naked, but. You're more comfortable clothed. <clears throat> yeah. Well, when your adrenaline's going, it doesn't matter if your dick's like slapping off your legs, like doing that when you're running around. Like, but I get it. Like, yeah, I don't know. It might, might scare away an attack. Sometimes I just do, but mostly I just don't. I, mostly I just sleep in Ranger panties because they're soft, they're cheap. You know, they don't like, yeah, they just feel right. I just think about like, if you go to sleep naked, because it is way more comfortable. But at first, if someone breaks in your house and you have to fight somebody naked, so you're all exposed and shit. Or like Roman, like Roman Greco wrestling. Yeah, or is but I think the more wrestling. exposed you are, the more they can fuck you up, even though nobody wants to fight the naked guy. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> a, if they grab your dick. <laughs> but and the, but I think about like if there's a fire or something and you got to run out in the street, yeah. and you're butt ass naked. You know, I, I don't. Right. But it, I mean, I assume we have enough throw blankets in my house. If that happened, I could grab one on the way out. Yeah. Like just like tied around me, like like a sexy little Rapper like around. Maven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, uh yeah. I don't know. It's more comfortable, but yeah. So I actually gonna address the people that listen to this. We have some really cool stuff in the pipeline for this podcast coming up. Um, kind of some behind the scenes stuff that's happening. It's gonna be cool. And so you guys are listening. I think you guys would be excited about some of the people we got yeah. lined up and we'll kind of keep some of the stuff private until it happens. Cause anytime you tell someone something cool is going to happen, it doesn't fucking happen. So, yeah. So we've got some pretty good news coming. Yeah. And some pretty cool fucking people lined up to be guests yeah. on this. And we're also planning on, we can talk about t-shirts and shit. We're planning on releasing some t-shirts for the podcast. Uh, so, and we, we're still trying to figure that out if we're going to do maybe a pre-order or something to see what the interest is. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get that figured out. We've had quite a few people tell us that they want a shirt. So we'll have to get all that situated. Right. But yeah. So anyways, just because we, we try to be as transparent with, I was going to say transparent, man. Yeah. We try to be as transparent with people listening to this. Cause we have like, we especially have like the select few of people who are like ride or die for this podcast for mm-hmm. us. And they've been there from the beginning supporting us. And then we've had, we have a lot of new people every week tuning into this. So anybody who's listening, welcome, I guess. But yeah, but no, we have some really cool people lined up. Um, some, some things in the pipeline that I think are going to turn out to be pretty cool. I hope. Yeah. And soon this studio is going to have a new art piece hanging right here. And you have a new art piece. That's going to be nice. Shout out to Jam Artworks. Shout it. Hit her up on the Instagram. Check out her art. We'll probably do a whole thing when we get the piece for Mm -hmm. her. Do do a whole like picture video and stuff. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Which I noticed a lot of people that follow us are following her. That's cool. Mario's following her. Yeah. uh, But a lot more people are following her now. No, she's cool. So that's, that's awesome. She yeah. does really good work. Yeah. And in the sake of transparency, in case I ever seem a little tired or depressed in this podcast, because my wife is leaving me, it's okay to be transparent about that though. It is. It's, it's, everybody's got shit in their life. Yeah. That happens. And me and you both have had shit behind the scenes. This podcast happens that oh, like, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to talk to a bunch of people. I don't know about right. that. But. And honestly, in case, cause Jake's not going to sit here and talk about himself through the whole thing. Jake is like a professional psychiatrist, not psychiatrist, like psychologist, like, psycho- like psychologist, social worker. Like I have other friends, but they're usually like, you know what I mean? Even if they're great guys, which they are, mm-hmm. they're going to be like, you know, cause it's basically ba- kind of based around that. She doesn't want to be not monogamous and decide to go about it the wrong way. And, and there's like, you know, like fuck her, you know, 
kick her out or whatever, dump her to the curb. And that's not what I did. But Jake's the only one who's like, it's like going to therapy. Like he knows exactly what to say. He knows how to interpret everything. So it's really good having Jake. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. You're, you're making me cry. No, but, uh, <laughs> but no, like, I don't know if to me, it's just being there for a friend and being there for as corny as it sounds a brother, you know, cause we've been, been friends a long time and I, I've been through my own shit before and, <clears throat> and me and you, like we've talked about this on here before we've, we've become pretty fucking close. Yeah. And I, I care about your well being. So I don't know. I'm just there to talk to pretty much. I'm an open ear and right. I can, oh, yeah. I can act like I, I understand some stuff, some stuff I don't, but it's, I don't know. But yeah, it's like transparency and that's something I know podcasts that I like to listen to. <laughs> Sorry. We just had to talk about transparency. We just had some uh, technical difficulties. Our camera fucked up, turned off on us. But anyways, we're back. <laughs> I can't look at the camera. It's weird. It, it is weird. I think because we have a, well, for you people that are watching right now, we can see ourselves right there by the camera and it's hard not to look at it. I think maybe from here on out, I'll turn the computer around. Oh, yeah. Or something. So we're not staring at it because it is awkward. Right, to do it doggy style. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But no, it, it is kind of weird to keep looking at yourself. And because when it's just the camera and you can't see yourself, I don't ever look at the camera. I don't yeah. even think about it. But when you can see what's going on. Yeah. But yeah so anyways, we were talking about uh, being transparent with this. And yeah, we will have things in our lives we're not going to share on here. And even the stuff you're going through in your life, you're obviously not going to share every fucking detail. Oh, no. That's not smart for anybody. No. But we try to straight chat, straight chat, 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 chat. We try to stay transparent with the people that listen to this. The stuff. straight shooters. Yeah. But the listeners of this, I mean, like I said, we have a group of people who've been supporting this since we started. So Right. So might as well not, not start being fake people now. Mm -hmm. Life is awesome. Everything is perfect. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Everything's good. And that's the thing like I hate about Instagram. You know, everybody posts a good, including yeah. me on my personal one. My post when something's cool, I take a picture yeah. of it and it goes up. But no, I mean, I was, I was super excited going into the summer thinking like we're finally in a place where we could get the children really cool experiences like you know go on <clears throat> really cool trips mm -hmm. or even just even if it's just like renting a cabin in the call for three days or something you know that's what sucks i think for them the most is now like i'll be in a position like i'll keep my house but they're not going to get to do any of that shit well you know that's not true though they can do shit with you right no i just mean like i just wanted to take them like cool places you know like yeah. hey let's go stay you know in a different state or go to yellowstone let's go like now when you kind of put in positions like, cause I, the last thing I want to do, and I'm almost done with school is stop so I can go get a full-time yeah. job. Yeah. Well, and the thing, I mean, this podcast obviously is going to blow up. I'm going to make like millions of dollars. Oh, of so course. you're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But, but no, I, I think things, things work themselves out as stupid as that sounds. They just fucking do. You don't stay in bad times forever. And you know that mm -hmm. you've been in shitty situations. I've been in shitty situations. I know a lot of people who have hard times in their life and it, it never lasts. Hard times don't fucking last. Yeah. Yeah. Unless like we've talked about a lot, unless you're that victim who's always like, I'll just sit in this hole mm -hmm. and stay there. Unless, or unless you're creating your hard times. You're right. You're right. Which like somebody like you, who the shit you're going through right now, you're not, you're not creating what's going on. It's part of, part of life. Unfortunately, right. I, all my, everything I had to do is reacting to it. Yeah. I didn't create the problem. I just had to respond in the, the best I could. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, and we've talked personally about it. I mean, you know that there's two sides to everything and mm -hmm. it takes two to fucking tango and all that good bullshit. But yeah, well, so things like that are going on in our lives, obviously we'll leave details out because it's, there's some stuff that can be left behind the curtain, but we try to be as transparent as we can. Yeah. So anyways, but yeah, so the, I think the reason we started that before Kevin gave me compliments, which was very nice, <laughs> uh, is yeah, we do have some awesome guests getting ready to, that we're trying to get situated and get scheduled to get on here. Uh, we're going to plan on, we're planning on doing a couple traveling podcasts. It might not even be traveling far. It might just be across town, but going to these, to places where these people are and having them on. And that's a whole nother thing. We have to learn how to set all this up when we're not in our little controlled studio. Yeah, no, totally. But I mean, actually this is the first, first podcast with the new camera. So hopefully it looks good. And the new sound, which in my headphones, it sounds a lot better. Yeah, no, it does. I, I really like it. I enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's nice. But no, I'm hoping I'm hoping it because we don't know as we're as we're recording if this is going to translate onto the video and audio side until I'll go to edit. We've had that happen a couple times. Mm -hmm. We record a whole episode and I get there and the audio is screwed and yeah, 
it's pain in the ass. And I announced yesterday on our Instagram, for those of you that just listen to this and don't follow that, which you should, by the way, Mission Prep Podcast on Instagram. Hit us up. Uh, but no, I announced on there, we're going to start releasing episodes on Tuesdays now. I think that'll give us a little more time instead of recording on a Sunday, releasing the next morning. It'll give me some more time for editing. It also, if we can't do it on Sunday, we can do it on Monday like we are today. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to start releasing it to every Tuesday morning. So hopefully you guys listening can get it on Tuesday, even though people listen all week. Yeah. So yeah. They're down. Whenever you get the week. chance, you know, that's kind of how I am if I yeah. listen to podcasts. It's not like at my set day, you know, it's just whenever I, cause it's hard even doing like, you know, doing like physics homework and listening to a podcast. I tried it for a while and it's just, I can't do those two things at once. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay. I, so, I don't think I'd be able, like, I know a lot of people that work out and listen to podcasts. Yeah. I weird. could not do that. I got to have loud music. Maybe for like on like a, I don't know, a treadmill, a treadmill or a stair yeah. step, not a treadmill. I know it's like an elliptical or something. If, if I'm, like, if, if I'm breathing hard, yeah. I ain't hearing a fucking podcast. Dude, no, it's, it's, and I know a lot of people that listen to them when they work out. Like there's, there's probably somebody right now listening to us talk that are working out. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm, I'm the type I listen when I'm driving. But now we got people watching on YouTube too. So it's, yeah, it's kind of cool. But yeah, so wearing another tight shirt again today. He's got to show off the guns. I had the, well, I had to rep my uh, Principia Fitness t shirt, yeah, dude. my new one. Um, I think Mitch listens. Yeah. So what's up, Mitch? Yeah. What's up, bro? For, former guest. That's, up, bro? that's his gym. Yeah. Yeah. You can catch him at Principia Fitness on Instagram and Facebook. True. 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 You can just go, sign up and work out too yeah. and it's more than just a crossfit gym much more if you want to find out more come join us come join us <laughs> it's not a cult and now they're right next to our jujitsu gym yeah they're gonna be the jujitsu right, right next yeah right next to ford movement training yeah, that's gonna be a cool little area if they can all link up that'd be fucking awesome and i think between me and you we might be able to make it happen yeah because i mean yeah the, the tactical guys which I, st I still got to tell Cruz about that. Yeah. You incorporate jujitsu because it's a needed, mm -hmm. you know, same thing with people who are into fitness, you know, they can cross over, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, I think there's a lot of people out there that want to try jujitsu right. because of how popular it's become over yeah. the past few years. But I think it comes down a lot of the time to not knowing where to go to do it, not knowing because like any gym, you want a good gym. You want something that fits you and the pit might not fit everybody. Right. But there's a lot of people I think it does because of their like, they're kind of a family value establishment you know, yeah they treat everybody kind of like family once you've been there for a little bit and that's very fitting to a lot of people because you have like hard ass motherfuckers in there that are rolling and that are kickboxing mm -hmm. and then you have moms and like soccer moms and grandmas and yeah and little kids and so it's kind of cool and i think that's kind of similar to the crossfit world you have some gyms where it's like a bunch of ass kickers that's it but then you have other gyms that a little open to everybody yeah 90 point. 90 or plus possible. percent of your clientele are just People you just want to stay active and blow off some yeah. steam and yeah. they're doing something other than just hiking. Cause I've heard a lot of people that are across there are also like hikers and yeah. runners. And Dude, I, I cannot wait to go back to jujitsu because with COVID and all that, it's been just a shit show of a year for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I, other than the price of it, <laughs> cause I, I used to pay a different price, uh -huh. but I'm not grandfathered in. I haven't been there. It's been a year and they've changed their prices. So I'm going to be, have to pay more. Yeah, like son of a bitch, am I going to be able to pull that? Because I have a yeah. hard, I have a hard time justifying spending money on things, and that's something I think is justifiable because it's for my well being. But I have a really hard time spending. Right, I think that's another part of being raised poor, which we've talked about. Yeah, but we here. all do that. Everybody, do, I would say, at some extent, does this. Where like we don't like memberships, like even Netflix going up to like what is it, fifteen dollars a month now or seventeen? Mm -hmm. It's like man, that's like yeah, but. When you went out to Jimmy John's last night, you spent thirty dollars. The night before that, you decided just to take a little stop by, you know, a little restaurant and blow a hundred dollars. Like, yeah. Well, and people don't know. people don't think about that. I'm no. I'm guilty of that too. I spend a little here and there, and it's like, man, if I didn't buy those things, I could put that to a jujitsu membership or whatever. Yeah, but no, I I really want to get back to it, but I gotta look at look at finances and stuff because it's. A little bit more than I was paying before, so right. But yeah, I think I think where they're moving is a cool little spot right next to yeah. CrossFit gym. It's like 15, to the, 10 to fifteen minutes from here. Yeah, so, that's a lot closer. The jujitsu gym, especially, it's gonna yeah. be closer for me. Yep. Instead of driving all the way across town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of jujitsu, makes me think of UFC. That Francis and Ganu fight the other night. 
was fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't know how smart it was to walk in there weighing 30 something pounds less than him. Well, I think, I think he, he sits around there anyways, Steve. But he, but he came in at two 30. He was probably sitting. So that means he's, he has no reason to cut. So he, he was probably fighting at two thirty, but he might he might not have been cutting. He might have been. I mean, he, I'm just saying there's no reason to yeah, cut. So he's yeah. probably fighting at two thirty. Well, then you have a guy like Francis Ngannou who has to cut who to make the two sixty five. But no, that was. I think it, you get like guys like Stipe, who's like an overlooked, overlooked fighter, even though he's probably one of the greatest heavyweights ever. Oh yeah, he's defended that title a bunch. Um, but there's a time where it's time to it's over for them. They can't keep going, and he's. He's good. I mean, the last fights, he he's looked really good. Yeah. But you have a monster like Francis Ngannou coming up. Like, that's that's the new era now of heavyweight. Yeah, and it's not like Francis was, like, probably 45 pounds heavier than him in that fight because he did cut down. Mm-hmm. And just, like, because he was fat, like, he cut down, but he's jacked. He's jacked and a fucking athlete at that weight. Yeah. So you have an athlete and a monster coming at you. It's 45 pounds, yeah. 40 and, pounds heavier than you. And his, his technique, his patience, all that is – a thousand times better than it was the last oh, time yeah. they fought. Yeah. Did you see that uh, video I sent you with John Jones training at heavyweight? Uh-huh. He's big. Yeah. But now, I don't know if you've seen online, he's telling the UFC to cut him because he said, pay me if you want me to fight Francis. And everybody, fighters included, people were like, quit being a bitch and just fight him. Why are you doing this about the money and blah, right. blah, blah. Then other people are standing up for him, for him saying like, oh, so one of the greatest of all time wants to be paid? Oh, that's so absurd right and and one of the biggest fights probably ever Mm -hmm. when they fight and i think dana white had mentioned something about it but anyways so then he went on this little rant i think on twitter or something saying i wish they just fucking cut me let me loose let me loose i'm being treated like shit wow but that's probably a bargaining tool so they'll pay him more yeah in order to fight because they should get you know paid what they're worth especially like someone like john jones who's one of the greatest to ever do it yeah i still don't know if he can hit hard enough I don't think that's what it's about with him, though. His technique is he just pieces right, people up true. over yeah. and over, and he just puts it on him and his his fucking reach. And yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, that's the only fight we watched last weekend was that one. Yeah, and it was it was worth it. Uh, that was Francis, that man hits very, very, very hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know how many of our listeners are into UFC. I'm sure a few of them. So there's our UFC talk for the yeah I don't have football talk because I don't episode. watch fucking you don't watch any sports watch other than out. UFC or other than MMA I guess like we said last time yeah they don't yeah. give a fuck about you yeah fuck them and I used to be super into football <clears throat> NFL and stuff but like the last couple of years I really haven't paid attention and I don't know I, th- I think it's fun to it's have a, a sport to it's watch, a fucking but. game you're supposed to get out of it in high school or college you shouldn't, you know, well, unless it's just gonna, like professional curling. It's a fucking game, but well, people take it so serious. Yeah, but the difference is curling versus the NFL. Those guys are getting paid millions and right. millions of dollars. Well, all I'm saying is it's a game. It's a game, but people take it so serious. Like they start crying when it, their team doesn't win. Like, shut the fuck up. You're watching yeah. grown men play a fucking game and you take it seriously. Look at yourself. Why are you upset by that? Yeah. Stop yeah. being upset by that, you little fuck. <laughs> Well, no, like, I don't want to be friends with people like that. They're just what that's what you take seriously in your life. Well, that's another thing we've talked about on here a bunch of times where one thing is a person's whole identity. Yeah. Whether it's politics, whether it's sports. Yeah, the 20 Seahawks jerseys and all the cups yeah. memorabilia in the house. Like or you get those guys who who talk about how good they were in high school, oh, how, yeah. how good of a football player yeah. they were, you know, and, and they never give up on it. And it's kind of sad. Yeah. Because they probably have nothing else going on in their life. Your ego's too weak to really face yourself and say, wow, this is who I am and it sucks to have to eat that bullet and feel that way, but it makes you grow. Unfortunately, that was probably the most interesting thing about those people. Yeah, I'm talking about people that still talk about their high school days. Right. Now, I get someone being super into a sport and loving the sport, loving a team, because I've I've had an NFL team for a long time and Mm -hmm. I I root for them, but I'm not like heartbroken if they lose. It's like, oh, well, they lost, but it's a game, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't know. That's the other thing that was like, we we talked about it before like everybody has their own shit and maybe it's important to them for a certain reason yeah no i, I talk shit but i really i did my core route i don't really fucking care because everyone does their own thing what are you gonna try to do walk around and change people to fit your narrative yeah that's very narcissistic yeah that's not what i want i just like giving people shit because my value is different from theirs mm-hmm. and so i just make fun of it um but i really don't care i'm not gonna try to change anybody 
everyone is the way they are there everyone's walking their own path everyone's doing their own thing yeah you're just talking shit which yeah sometimes you got to you got to be an asshole um <clears throat> oh uh you know i we talked i think we talked about it here one time how we had listeners in germany yeah so i've been looking on there on the analytics we have people quite a few in australia really like a lot of people listening to us in australia oh buddy which is like how how the fuck did they find us that's what i don't get that's weird huh? and then there's five listeners i think off the coast of Africa in the middle of the ocean is what it shows. Not like Madagascar? No, it's not even. Oh. It's on the water. So I don't know if it's a oh, ship. Like a Navy boat? I don't know what it is, but it shows because it, what it will show me on the, I can look at this map on our analytics thing and it will give me numbers in each area of the subscribers to this podcast. And like pretty much almost every state in the US has has some. I think like Wyoming, we don't have anybody listening. There's a couple of states. I was just looking at last night. And then off the coast of Africa in the water. There's a little circle that says five. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, it's fake. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's some people in Russia, Norway. <laughs> uh, where else was there? Canada. We have some Canadians listening to this. And then all over the U.S. It's just a bunch of people looking for like some site Mormon podcast page. <laughs> and, and then they come across us. Yeah, I don't know, man. If, like, uh, these guys are fucking cool. All right. And then we have a shit ton of people listening in Texas. Oh, good. Which and like all different all over Texas too, not just one one part. Okay. Um, that was the same in another country. I looked. Oh, it was Australia. There's people like on different sides of Australia listening to us. Hmm. <clears throat> and uh, but then in the U.S., like obviously a ton in Idaho, a bunch in Salt Lake. That's where Damn. I think. That's where I think Salt Lake people typed in. Hopefully, it's like Chris name. Hemsworth or something. <laughs> like, hey, can I come? Like, fly me over there so I can fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gay. He's handsome. He's a handsome son of a bitch. But yeah, I just think that's really cool that there's people like all over the world listening to our two dumbasses talk about stuff. Dumbass stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's dumber things to talk about. That's true. That's true. And we've had we've had some, <clears throat> like, especially when we have a guest on, we've had some really good conversations on here, even if we've done it through Zoom, which Zoom sucks, but we've gotten some pretty deep conversations with some people. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. It is so neat. Pretty neat. Yeah, this this episode today is probably going to be a little shorter just because we're. This is kind of our first test run with the new camera, which we had a problem with. Yeah, this episode is brought to you by Truly Lemon <laughs> Strawberry Tea. If Truly wants to pay us, if you're listening, Truly, you got good uh, lemon tea. This does say it's made with like black tea, so I wonder if it's like how much caffeine. It doesn't say. It's very know. irresponsible. I don't know. To not say, but it's actually. Uh, people might call you like feminine or whatever for drinking truly i hard, drink hard wine. seltzer but i don't give a fuck this shit's delicious i don't drink beer like gluten gets me all inflamed and fucking farty and gassy and shit well typically when we're on here i'm drinking coffee but <clears throat> i've already had my coffee today yeah i'm gonna save myself for that cake yeah it's my it's my son's birthday and we're gonna have some cake and some food is it a cheesecake factory again no, not today. It's Albertsons. Albertsons? Yeah, which oh, Albertsons, Albertsons has good. So nobody cares about Byron? <laughs> like, oh, let's go to Albertsons. No. Uh, like the mediocre bakery department? Except I think they did go to Cheesecake Factory to buy him a chocolate happy birthday. Oh, really? Because <clears throat> he asked. He wanted like chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, which what, uh, what six-year-old kid doesn't? So well, actually, he got two cakes. He has two cakes in there. Ooh. He has one like big one and one small one. Okay. So he's taken care of. Yeah, good. It's funny this morning. He's being a typical five, six year old and he wakes up and he's like, what, why didn't you guys get me decorations? Cause he knows we're celebrating today mm -hmm. because his uncle's in town and all that. And he's like, why didn't you get me decorations? Did you not get me presents? And so we're like trying to teach him a lesson, you know, don't be ungrateful. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, he, we're like, no, we didn't get you anything. And he lost his shit, dude. Uh -huh. which I get. He was let down. It, he, he knows we're doing his birthday today, even though it's really tomorrow. We're doing his birthday party today and there's nothing there. So he was kind of let down. And so he was, he was crying and crying and crying. Then he went to school. And when he came home from school, we had the whole house decorated oh. balloons and cakes. And he walks in, he's like, Oh my gosh. He was so excited. He yeah. was saying best birthday ever, which the kid has had some pretty cool birthdays. Yeah. But now Vivian's is on Sunday. <clears throat> so it's on hers is on Easter this year. Yeah. So I'm just going to get her, getting her a new bike. Yeah. A trek down from that trek in Milwaukee. Oh, cool. You know, 24 inch. Um, 
it's like blue. I mean, that's that blue and red. And I was like, well, you get a blue bike this mm-hmm. time. You know, it's just whatever we can get, you know, at the time. Because there's not a lot of 24s around right now. Yeah. They had a shortage for like six months during COVID. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Birthdays. April birthdays, man. Or uses March. But... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. Uh, I don't know. What this Kevin is. was beatboxing earlier. Dude. When I first fired this It was this pretty up. good. It was not bad. I I, I mean it's I wouldn't throw it in there because it's, it's I'm embarrassed, but I was dancing a little bit, but yeah. Oh, another little thing I've talked about on here, so I might as well bring it back up. So I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine. Still no superpowers, still no extra limbs, and I still don't know if I'm being tracked. But you're not sick by Bill Gates. Actually, today I was feeling it. Pretty, oh, really? pretty fucking hard. It went away though. It was weird. Because the first first dose I got, I felt a little tired, and I was like kind of achy, and that lasted a couple hours. It was gone. That was it. And I've heard after the second dose is when people get the most reaction to it. Uh-huh. So I got my second dose yesterday, and then today it like felt like these waves coming over me of like tiredness, and kind of like where you just feel like you're getting sick. I'm yeah. like, oh, oh man, here it comes. And it could be in my mind too. Yeah, playing because I know I've heard of people getting sick. But then all of a sudden I was white. I was washing our windows on the back of the house and I went outside and it's windy as shit. And I got a cold chill and it was like to the bone. I'm like, Oh fuck. And I, I went inside and laid in my bed and got under the blankets curled up. And I was like, Oh, and I was so tired. Like when you have the flu. Yeah. And I'm like, Holy fuck. That lasted like an hour. And that was today. And I feel completely fine now. Wow. And I did read like, you're not supposed to drink any alcohol after you get the shot. Oh yeah. Like within the day of, and here I am drinking hard seltzer but i mean it's been over, over 24 hours <clears throat> yeah and i i feel like i said i feel 100 percent right now yeah so we'll see what happens it might hit me again later yeah need but, some cake you get over it sugar's yeah. not inflammatory <laughs> oh dude well we've had we've had my wife's brother in town so we've been eating like shit because we're eating all the good stuff while he's here you know that's how it goes mm-hmm. and like this morning my mother-in-law made french toast and then she went and got donuts I'm like jesus and now we're having cake for my son's birthday tonight and I'm going to die and go into a diabetic coma. Yeah. It's okay. Just do like a hundred burpees for time afterwards. Did I puke yesterday? Just bending over to put my shoes on. <laughs> I think I maybe ate too much. It's a sign, a sign of old age. Yeah. <laughs> just like bent over like, oh, like yeah. so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've been, he's been here for a week. Tomorrow will be a week. He goes back home, back over to Austin. But, uh, since he's been here, we've been having like donuts in the morning and, Ooh. and treat yourself. And then they were gone all last weekend. So I didn't have any part in what they were eating when they were gone, but we're, we have a cake tonight and we had French toast this morning. It's like all I've had today was French toast. Oh, it's coffee. protein. It's a protein. Sign. Actually, I, had, I did have a couple slices of turkey breast today. Yeah. yeah. So you got about 20 grams of protein in your system yeah, right now. Dude, I'm good. Dude, I have some, I have extra storage, man. I got to bump that up to like 150, dude. You got to bump those numbers up. Typically my, my diet's mostly protein. I eat a lot of protein, mm-hmm. but today has been, even though I ate French toast this morning, it's been a really light day. Like I haven't eaten anything else really I, other than a couple slices of turkey breast and a truly and coffee. Yeah. I actually had a Starbucks coffee today. It's not good. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like certain alcohols. It's like certain, like, other, you know, just a lot of things in life. It doesn't taste that good, but if you start buying it more, all of a sudden you start liking it. Mm-hmm. You know, because I started drinking it for a while just because of school. Like, I don't like the way it tastes, especially the Americanos. You know, I like Americanos. I don't like the one there, the way theirs tastes. That's what I got. But after a while, you start just like almost liking it because you're used to it. Mm-hmm. But then you stop for a while and you go back and you're like, oh, this tastes like shit. Well, and especially <clears throat> I'm used to like high quality beans I make in my home, in my espresso maker. And maybe, I don't know what quality starbucks is but i've never been a big fan I, it's apparently okay. they have like a high rate of pesticides tracked on and it's okay industry, i mean so. it's, it's coffee but some coffee's better than none but yeah I, I went to albertson's actually to buy donuts and then my wife texts me and says my mom just brought home donuts oh shit okay well i came to albertson's for nothing yeah i was actually gonna buy the cakes too and she's like she also got the cakes I'm like well that was nice for her but now i came to albertson's for nothing and they had a starbucks there yeah so it was me and my older son we went over and he's like can i get a decaf I'm like, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> he likes to taste coffee. Yeah. And the girl's like, I can make you a decaf sugar vanilla latte or <laughs> whatever it's called, vanilla latte sh- something. And he's like, that sounds nice. So that's what he got. Damn. Drinking his little decaf. But yeah, he likes to taste coffee. 
Yeah. Even though, like they say, caffeine or whatever stunts your growth. That kid doesn't have to worry. He's a fucking giant. Yeah. Uh, he probably needs a little bit of that. Did he had his checkup? That's why we were out today. We I took him to his 13-year-old checkup today. He's in like the 98th percentile for height, oh, weight, for sure. and body mass index. But he's not like, he's not chubby. Mm-hmm. He's just a big kid. And the doctor told him, he's like, yeah, he's, he's hitting growth spurts. He's, he's big. He also got his flu shot. And they did a blood draw. Apparently on teenagers now, they like to test their cholesterol. Huh. And he's like, yeah, we, we've been doing, we do that teenagers. If he wants, if you guys want, we'll take, I was like, yeah, why not? Doesn't hurt. So that was his first ever blood draw. He, wow. he was freaking out when they stay heated dead like needles, but yeah. No, I think Vivian's in a 96th for height and yeah. weight too. Yeah. I don't know. Again, it's like sometimes you don't know where they get it from. Mm-hmm. Like I get it. It's yeah, like Tony and stuff, mm-hmm. but my side of family, like my grandpa was six two. Yeah. But I don't know where she's getting it. She just, I mean, she looks like me. She's built like me. Yeah. But I'm only 5'11. So maybe she'll be 5'11. She's got like broad shoulders yeah. like you do. So yeah, she's built like you. Yeah. She's probably 5'11. No. And that's another thing we've talked about on here that one day our kids are going to have this to listen to. And yeah, we say a lot of stupid shit and we joke around and say inappropriate things. But I, I'm glad because one day, like, I wish, like, my real dad, he's dead. We never got along very well, but it'd be cool if I could go back and listen to hours of him talking right just like who are you really yeah, who yeah. are you when you're not around me yeah and our kids are gonna be able to go back and listen to this and find out who we really are and whether that's good or bad <laughs> but it's uh it's cool it's like a diary and, and especially like if this thing continues to go like the way it is and we keep going with this they're gonna have they already have hours and hours and hours of us talking mm-hmm. and actually i think my older son like subscribe to it on youtube I'm like i don't want you watching the podcast dude. he's like I, I only i only watch the video of kevin laughing the video oh, i posted yeah. he's like it's so funny and then he's like trying to give me tips on how to post social media and post oh, on yeah. youtube because kids know that shit right he's like what you should have done is put like a caption here that kevin farted or whatever i'm like uh, he knows what he's talking about but right but yeah, he's like that's the only one i watch but anyways one day they're gonna come go back and listen to this time in our lives and see where we were and hopefully we're further along in this podcast you know hopefully this thing grows into something because that's that's our plan i mean we, we want i mean it's my plan i don't know if it's your plan but i want personally this thing to be able to give us a lifestyle we want to live and not have to go work for somebody else yeah and it's not even about the money portion of that but financial security is important to be able to do things in life that you want to do. Mm -hmm. And I want this podcast to be able to pay for itself. So we're not dipping our own pockets to buy equipment and shit, which we've been doing, but I'd like it to be able to pay for itself, but I would like this to turn into something we can live life. We want to live, you know, and hopefully that's what happens with it. Cause that's what looks like it's heading that direction, but you never know. It could could all come crashing down at any moment. That's okay, dude. We can still be stock car drivers. <laughs> we could do that, I guess. Yeah, dude. Why not? You can do anything. It's America. It's true. Put your mind to it. And yeah, well, I mean, I've been talking on the phone to a couple super successful people the past couple of days, and that's what they've done, man. They've created their own thing. Yeah. They've don't follow somebody else. They've decided like this is what I want to do, and I'm going for it. And they've become super successful. And just having 20 minute, 30 minute phone calls with these very successful people I've had over the past week. It's, it's kind of inspiring to, and I, one of them I was talking to yesterday, I told him, you know, this is what we're trying to do with the podcast, all that. And he said, you just got to keep your nose to the grindstone, man. Just keep going, keep going, keep going and don't stop. And you'll get where you want to go. Yeah. Got to be driven and not follow other people yeah. or be having to listen to people. Cause if people are telling you what to do, they're <clears> slowing you down. Yeah. Like, well, no, this is my fucking thing. And this is how I'm doing it. That can be hard too. the whole, not following other people. Cause you see people that do shit that you like, right? Yeah. You're like, fuck, I love the way they're doing that. I want to, I want to have that. But if you follow them exactly, you're going to, it's going to fuck you up. I think mm-hmm. you, I think you have to, you can use what they're doing as an example, but you got to do your own thing. Yeah. Use and that's, that's hard with this podcast. Cause I, we both big podcast listeners. We're in the niche now of a lot of people we look up to because mm-hmm. we have a lot of people that know them that are listening to us now. And and it's it's hard not to be like, do what they're doing. We got to do our own thing, you know, which we're doing. We're, we're trying to do our own thing here, but it's it's cool, man. It's, it's, this thing's 
in a short amount of time grown quite a bit. Yeah. And I just hope it continues. And and then there's you like talk about transparency again in the beginning, Kevin wasn't really in, you weren't really in to this. You were just here cause you were here. <laughs> I mean, you said on the podcast you were a guest on, like you didn't think I was really going to go for this oh, yeah, and do it. But I've noticed over the past couple months, you've become more involved. Right. Well, I'm just, I just wasn't comfortable, I guess, just talking to people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just. Well, you're, you're kind of an introvert. Yeah. Even though like, I know with you, once you get a conversation rolling with somebody, you're a good conversationalist. Right. You're, you're, you can hold a really good comment and tell you're intelligent and all that good stuff. I'm just anti-social as in like somebody walks up to you like in a parking lot somewhere like, Oh, what's up, man? Oh, I like your truck or I like your shirt or whatever. And for some reason, as soon as like, cause I've tried to be introspective about it. Yeah. Like I'm not good at those conversations. It's like, as soon as I'm in that conversation, it, the minute I'm in it, I'm thinking about how to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, it's I also, get out of this. it's also like, it's bullshit. They're telling you like, how's your day, man? How's the weather and stuff like that. And it's like, which I'm guilty of that too. Cause I love talking to people. I'm the opposite of you. I'm mm -hmm. not an introvert whatsoever. I'm extroverted as can be. And I, I love talking to people. And I'm guilty of that too. I will think of an excuse to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll bring up the fucking weather if it means I'm going to have a conversation with you. Because I, I like, I just love talking to people. And I like hearing, hearing what they have to offer as well. But there is a point where it gets fake. And it's like people are talking just to talk and it's kind of a bullshit conversation. Yeah. And with me, that's not the case. Like I'm genuinely trying to have a conversation. I'm not just talking to talk. I really want to have a conversation with somebody. Right. It's, but, and I, and I know like you've talked about, you rub people the wrong way. I think I've rubbed people the wrong way before too. They think I'm fake sometimes because I'm a friendly person and I really am. It's a genuine thing. I, I'm not trying to like get, get one over on somebody or anything. I just like to talk to people. So. Yeah. No, I, I just, <laughs> it's like, like if you and I met on a bus, like it's Helldaggy Nights, he starts talking about his problems. He's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like, you think you got problems? My mom's got problems. <laughs> like that's like, you mean, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Uh, but see, that's, that's with you though. <clears throat> one, like I said, once you get the conversation going, you can talk to anybody. Then you, you, you can talk about pretty much anything, but you have to, I think typically they have to initiate the conversation with you. Oh, for sure. I can't initiate conversations. Yeah. And with me, I will initiate. I don't care who you are. I don't care if people are intimidated by you. Yeah. I don't care if I'm intimidated by you. I'm yeah. going to fucking talk to you. Well, and that's the thing. Like, that's why it's, since I can't initiate conversations because I'm shy, that always fucked me growing up. with like, you know, me trying to meet girls because mm -hmm. I can't talk to them. So mm -hmm. the girls I always meet are the ones who come talk to you first, yep. which a lot of times are sluts. Well, and so then... You're like, oh, I love you. And then they break yeah. your heart because they're fucking everybody else anyway. Like, it's like being shy around women can have its negatives. Like, yeah, you got to be able to put yourself out there to find the right person versus yeah. always, you know, exactly. Well, see, I, was, I, was, I was the opposite when it came to girls. I don't care how hot she was. I don't care how out of a league, out of my league she was. I'm talking to her and I'm going to try to win her over. And I had, I had some really good looking girlfriends and I ended up with a good looking wife. Mm -hmm. But it's because... I don't, I don't care if I'm intimidated. I'm going to try and find something we have in common, whether you're a man or a woman, I want to be friends with you or I'm trying to fuck you, whatever. Right, yeah. It's like, I'm going to find something we have in common and I want to find that connection Yeah. and make a connection. And then don't get me wrong. There's some people, they rub me the wrong way. I'm not trying. I'm no. like, okay, fuck this guy. No, yeah. I, I want, and that happened with me with girls too. They'd be like a certain amount of crazy or a little too clingy or whatever it was. I'd, jump out real quick you know mm -hmm. i'd be like fuck, fuck this i'm i'm done yeah i'm done but no i i think with this podcast like over the past couple months you've become more involved and that's that's really cool for me to see because there's times where i'm like fuck is kevin in or is he not is he not is well he with it's not that i'm not in you you know it's just about understanding that everything i've been going through sometimes i'm coming right out of like a a conversation that i don't want to hear yeah, yeah yeah right into this yeah you know Let's, we actually, um, me and Kevin talked about that. How like there's been a couple episodes where like all energy is drained out of no your energy. body until it's your turn to talk, and then you like you turn it off. Yeah, because I was like, I have to be there. I can't like yep. be a because I'm a, I'm a try hard. I have that, and the only better way to play that say that I'm a try hard. So I'm not gonna let the people down. Mm -hmm. but like yeah, in between there, it's just like no energy. You know, like you come out of a conversation where someone's just like, I'm still with you because I feel sorry for you. 
and then like, oh, five minutes from now, let's go to Jake's and do a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's all I think about. It's like, you know. Well, and also if you're having shit going on in your life or whoever, if you if you're having shit going on in your life, and then you come into a podcast episode where we have a guest and it's kind of a serious subject, which we've had a couple times. Yeah. It's like depressing to even more depressing. Yep. And I think when we're both in better mindsets, because I come off super bubbly and stuff, but I get down too, you know. Mm-hmm. If we're both in, like, sh- if we're in good mindsets and we have a guest that's a super serious person who's talking about their problems, we put bring the light to it a little bit and it evens out. But if we're both in shitty mood, which hasn't happened, I'm usually in a pretty good mood when we sat down to do this. And they're like a darker personality or whatever. It's gonna it's gonna be bad. Yeah. So it, you have to be in the right headspace too, and you have shit going on in your life that that's unfortunate stuff like that but you're working through it Mm -hmm. and i think you're going to be in a better place when it's all said and done but you've become more involved in the podcast you've i can tell you 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 actually like because in the beginning obviously i was the one that wanted to do this and Mm -hmm. i wanted you to come along for the ride because first of all i trust you right and i I, that's a good i guess that's a good way to put it i trust you to be like a good partner in crime to fucking start this. Cause we're trying to run it like a business. And in the beginning I could tell like, Oh shit, he's not in. I would tell my wife, I'm like, fuck if I'm like, well, if Kevin drops out, I'm like, I'm not stopping. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep this podcast going. And she's like, Oh, I know you will. I know you will. And I'm like, fuck it. I guess if he doesn't want to be here for it, he doesn't want to be here for it. But then you keep showing up, <laughs> you keep coming, man. Mm-hmm. And then I've noticed over the past couple of months, you're more into it. Right. Which is, good for me to see because i i, I want to do this together i want to share this with somebody other than just myself right and that can be a problem too i do that a little too much is when i have something good going on i want to share it with everybody love me yeah but no i want to share it with everybody i want everybody to experience the cool stuff mm-hmm. and sometimes that can be bad maybe those people don't deserve to have it shared with them you know what i mean yeah yeah and i've i've done that my whole life i've give people too many chances and I want to include them and whether it's getting somebody a job or whatever. I've had that burn me multiple times, Yeah, but I did it again and again. And so with you, like I knew I could trust you and I knew if you were going to get out of this, you wanted out, you'd get out and right. I just keep it going. But I don't know. And I, we've been told by multiple people, our dynamics good. Yeah. And like I said, it's not that easy because for everyone that doesn't know, this is a jump in, jump out kind of podcast. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we're just trying to fit it into our schedules. Yeah, we had we had to, we had to we had to get jumped in. Oh, now I got to get jumped out. <laughs> yeah, and me and Kevin. I mean, we so pretty much we beat the fuck out of each other to start this, and we don't want to do that again. That's just that's no fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you meant like it's we jump in and do this real quick, and it, which is true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're that's the more transparency with with you guys listening is we both have busy schedules. Kevin's a full-time student. He's got a family. He's got all this. I'm a full-time worker. You have the family. So we try to fit this in also get other people's schedules coordinated that are coming on here. And like today we just came out here. We're doing this. We've been doing almost an hour and we're going to go right back to our family life and do our thing. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow it's back to work, back to school, back to whatever. So we're trying to try to balance that too. Can be a motherfucker. Yeah. But that's another the reason I'm hoping this continues to succeed and it starts to be more like a business because then we could concentrate more on this. Mm-hmm. You can put that fucking physics degree in the trash. Yeah. Put it in the trash. Because we're fucking influencers now, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I really do hope this continues to go the way it's going. And the things that have happened over these past couple weeks have been real good for us. So I think... Mm-hmm. I think, it, like I said, it could all come crashing down, and that's why I'm not giving details about the people I've talked to on the phone and stuff, because who knows, it might not happen. Right. But that's another thing I have to learn is patience, because like I'll have one person who's a very successful person, a powerful person, especially in the podcasting world, and that who I'll talk to, and like they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this for you," and I'm like, "Oh fuck yeah!" And then I don't hear from them. Right. And I'm like, "Oh, it's been two weeks." Oh fuck. They don't love me anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I get I get impatient and then all of a sudden I get a text like, "Hey, here we go." And I'm like, "Oh shit. Okay, cool, you know." And that's and it's also people who don't owe us a fucking thing mm-hmm. who are who are helping us out. Right. And like I'll, I'll fucking say shout out to Baker cuz he's doing some cool fucking things for us. Yeah. If you guys don't know who Baker is, fucking look it up. But anyways, 
he's a he's a cool dude and he's been real cool to us so and he doesn't owe us a damn thing Mm -hmm. and i told him that i was like why are you helping us out man but he's cool yeah so all right well i guess that's a good place to end it we got we got cake to eat and birthdays to do yeah so yeah um look out for our shirts one of these days if we ever figure that out um if you guys are listening to this which you are if you've gone this long if you made it this far into the podcast uh email us or send us a dm on instagram and tell us if you're interested in shirts and shit because we want to do them but we don't want to do shirts if nobody's gonna fucking buy them yeah we've had we've had some interest already but and if you're listening from the fucking ocean in off the coast of africa to fucking tell us send us dick pics come yeah. on dick pics uh feet pics kevin's in that but <laughs> no i mean wh- wherever you're listening like especially if it's not in the u.s hit us up tell us how you found us and we we try to read all the dms we get we don't i don't get to all of them but i try to read them most of the time they're normal people but i've had a couple weirdos hit me up on dms where i'm like what yeah. the fuck and i just block promote them. this on so-and-so's page oh like, I, stop I get those a, stop being a fucking fag i get those comments all the time yeah promote this on block it's like I just I just click on them and block them yeah. every time. Block, block, block. But no, I'll, I'll get like direct messages that go into my other inbox that I don't get notified. Oh, I'll go check it every now and then. I'm like, and there's like weird people in there. Sometimes it's spam. Sometimes it's just weird fucking people. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it's someone cool. Yeah. Like, try to remember somebody like commented and said like they liked what we were doing. And it was just a random person. Oh, that's oh, cool. Cool. But yeah. So yeah, DM us, email us. Yeah. Give us a fax. Spread them butts. Yeah. Spread the cheeks. And send us a DM. Tell us where you're listening from. We love you. Do you have anything else, Kevin? No. Sweet. Peace. Now should we just like stare at the camera? Yeah. Just zoom in. (laughs) All right. Bye, everybody.